ಹಲೋ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆ ಎಂ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಪಲ್ಲವಿ ದೇವಕಾತೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕಾನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕೋಸ್ಟಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೈನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಯಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ರಿವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ರಿವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ರಿವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಚೀವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ರಿವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ different defects in green revolution okay in today's lecture we studied high yielding variety program okay it is one of the part of green revolution okay so we study one by one different points in high yielding variety program in that first that is high yielding variety program okay so this high yielding variety program was launched in the kharif of 1966 to 67 okay this high yielding variety program was launched during 1966 to 67 with an objective to attain self sufficiency in food by 2070 and 71 okay so main object of this high yielding variety program is to attain self sufficiency in the food okay so this high yielding variety program was launched during 1966 to 67 and with objective to attain the self sufficiency in a food okay after that next point that is high yielding variety program so general information regarding the high yielding variety program the core philosophy of this program was to increase the productivity of food grain by adopting latest varieties of input of a crops okay so main philosophy behind this program is to increase the productivity of food grain by using different high yielding variety of a crop okay the introduction of new high yielding varieties of improved seeds enhanced the application of fertilizers and extended the use of pesticides were its main feature okay so the main features of this high yielding variety program is the use of high yielding variety of improved seeds then enhanced the application of fertilizer and extend the use of fertilizer these are the main features of this high yielding variety program okay after that high yielding variety program include introduction of first one that is increase the use of fertilizer then high yielding varieties of seeds and third one that is increase irrigation okay so these three are the main features included in high yielding variety program that is the increase use of fertilizer high yielding variety seeds and increase the irrigation facilities these three combinedly is the result of green revolution okay so uh, these high yielding varieties which are more responsive to the increase use of fertilizer and also increase the irrigation and ultimately this leads to increase in production of agriculture okay so this is the high yielding variety program features okay after that next point that is objectives of high yielding variety okay so first objective that is to assess the spread of various high yielding varieties in different parts of a country okay so first objective that is to assess the spread of high yielding varieties in different parts of a country and second object that is to determine the extent of such spread okay so in this objective this program was judge whether these high yielding varieties spread all over the or different parts of a country and to determine such spread of variety in different parts of a country another objective of this high yielding variety program is to ascertain the reaction attitudes of cultivars okay so another example that is to see the reaction and attitude of cultivators or participating cultivators in high yielding variety program then 
third objective is the research efforts involving in new variety okay that means besides above objective it is also covered the certain other important and relevant aspects such as research efforts in involving new variety that means the objective of this high yielding variety is to involve new hybrid varieties or high yielding variety of a crop and last objective that is to study the problems of implementation of program okay so this is the another objective that is to study the problems of implementation of programs at different level of administration that means at state level district level block level and village level so this is the another objective that is to study the problems of implementation at different level of administration so these are the five objectives of high yielding variety program that is to assess the spread of variety in different parts of a country then ascertain the reaction and attitude of cultivator then research efforts in evolving new varieties and last one that is study the problem of implementation of program okay these are the different objectives of high yielding variety program after objectives of high yielding variety program next part that is different crops covered under this program so initially this high yielding variety programs was restricted to only five crops these five crops are bajra jowar rice maize and wheat okay so initially this high yielding variety program was restricted to only this five crops and basically this high yielding variety aimed at increasing the agricultural productivity at large extent and it helped to ensure the food security of a country so these are the major five crops which are covered under this high yielding variety program after crops covered in high yielding variety program next one that is advantages of high yielding variety program okay so there are different advantages of high yielding variety program in that first one that is increasing the agricultural productivity so first advantage that is due to the use of such high yielding variety the yield of agricultural crop is increased this is the one of the major advantage of this high yielding variety program second object uh, sorry second advantage is to ensure food security of a country because of increasing the agricultural productivity ultimately it ensure the food security of a country then another advantage of this high yielding variety program is the turning point in the history of agricultural development that means due to this high yielding variety program it is the turning point to a country's history agricultural development okay then another advantage of this high yielding variety program that is the program was successful in wheat producing zone okay so in india this program of high yielding variety was successful in wheat producing zone of a country and some success were obtained in case of rice okay and also other crops in some extent okay then in case of wheat high yielding variety strains like kalyan sona sonalika safed larma choti larma sarbati sonara and triple dog varieties like hira and moti etc are the result of high yielding variety program okay and last advantage that is the program of high yielding variety program was successful in wheat producing zones like punjab okay so these are the different advantages of high yielding variety program after advantages of high yielding variety program next point that is some technical characteristics of this high yielding variety program okay so in this first point or first characteristic that is basic requirement of cultivation of this high yielding varieties seeds is that 
field should have proper drainage facility that means for the cultivation of this high yielding variety seeds a field should have the proper drainage facilities otherwise the success of program is less then next characteristic is the irrigation should be free condition and control is essential for the success of this program okay while cultivating this high yielding variety seeds the irrigation must be free condition and also control irrigation is essential then third characteristics of this high yielding variety program that is these varieties are highly susceptible to the pest disease and even slightly abnormal seasonal condition so these high yielding varieties are highly susceptible to the pest and disease infestation and also slightly susceptible to the abnormal seasonal condition okay this is the another variety another characteristics of this high yielding variety program after that next characteristic that is all the varieties are of short duration okay this is the another characteristic of this high yielding variety that is all the varieties which are evolved during this program all these varieties are of short duration and the period is ranging from 110 to 114 days okay after that next characteristic that is all the varieties are dwarf varieties okay that means height of all the varieties are short or dwarf so these are the another characteristics of high yielding variety okay after that next characteristic that is these dwarf varieties are the significant and had made these varieties responsive to higher dose of fertilizer okay so one more important feature of this dwarf variety that is these varieties are significant and these varieties are responsive to high fertilizer dose so this is another characteristic of this high yielding variety program after that next characteristic that is this high yielding varieties are coarse and hence market price is lower than other varieties okay so this high yielding varieties are coarse so the market price of this high yielding varieties are lower than the other varieties other finer or medium varieties of this wheat rice etc okay okay another characteristics of this high yielding variety is the response of these varieties is very in irrigated condition so the cultivation can be undertaken in irrigation areas only okay so these varieties are highly responsive to irrigated condition so the cultivation of these varieties can be undertaken only in irrigated area okay then another characteristic that is the production and distribution of certified and quality seeds have increased due to this high yielding variety program okay so due to this high yielding variety program there is higher production and distribution of this certified seeds as well as quality seeds is increased and last characteristic that is the share of private sector in seed production was increased due to this high yielding varieties many private seed companies are initiated and seed production of that particular private sector was increased due to this high yielding variety program so these are the some technical characteristics of high yielding variety program okay so this is all about high yielding variety program in which we study the period of high yielding variety program then different crops involved in high yielding variety program then objectives of high yielding variety program and last one that is technical characteristics of high yielding variety program okay so question may be asked on this topic like write short note on high yielding variety program or sometimes question may be asked like explain high yielding variety program in detail okay so this is all about today's topic that is high yielding varieties program okay thank you all